Hey everybody, I'm at the uh, Home Depot, or even the Home Depot I should say. I got the stuff to start my build for the um, camera jib. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave here, go home and get my materials out and start putting this together. I have an idea how I want to build it. I got all this free aluminum from work, throwing it away. So, why not put it to use and build a camera jib? Something I can use for shooting my church projects or a movie that's coming up. Lots of uses for it, so anyway, stay tuned, we'll get started. Okay, gonna see what we got for our build, for our camera jib. I got this piece of uh, H aluminum channel. Don't know if I'm even gonna use this or not, but I took it anyway, it's a good sturdy piece. Might use it as a build, but what I am using is these two pieces, if you can see this here, of a square tubing. I got two pieces of this, one about a 12 foot long, and then this piece here about, about five or six. Then I've got two pieces of this uh, aluminum angle. This is what I'm gonna use to make my brackets out of. So I'm gonna materials. I'm gonna get these measured and cut. Once I do, I'll show you what size I'm gonna use to make the jib out of. Again, we're making a camera jib for our camera, so stay tuned. All right, a little progress to date here so far. What I did, I cut a little six by six piece of half inch plywood. And I cut some of this metal angle, angle iron pieces into three and a half inch pieces, bolted them on the bottom. These here are one foot tall, just bolted it all together. The way this is going to work, this channel is going to slide in here at the top like this and be bolted on. This is going to move up and down. So that's the start of the build. We're going to keep working. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, one thing I noticed on this when the bar goes through the middle, it would have hit this right here, so I took the uh, grinder, cut a little middle section out there so I could uh, mount the bars between it. So there's a up close look at what I've done. Okay, I'm gonna keep working. Yeah, I got the first bottom bar installed. I'm gonna see how this works. This will sit on top of a tripod, and you're gonna push down this lever, and this will raise up the uh, camera. I may end up going and cutting out this bottom part Give me a little more uh, downward leverage, but right now they work pretty good. I still got the top bar to put on. But just letting you see the progress so far. And keep going. Stay tuned. Here is the finished product. Not too bad. It only a few pounds. I put a little bracket on here. I just got to drill a hole and out the uh, uh, phone camera up top where I can mount a full size camera on this as well. I have to mount a bracket to it, but. This is the finished product, really lightweight. Use my bracket at this end. And the way it works is, this end here is going to be mounted on a tripod. The tripod I have there is too little, so. Anyway, you hold this down, this allows you to uh, go up and get different shots. And this will go lower, but it's hit the stairs right now. You can go all the way to the ground. Just give you an idea how it's going to function. So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun building it. Uh, this is, uh, I think, seven foot. This is nine foot. And a little six by six base is what I have here. Just give you an idea of the measurements. These are about a foot tall for these pieces. So have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. All right. This tripod I have is too flimsy. This is just for like a little cell phone. So, but it's not made to hold this. I need to get a heavy duty tripod. But at least I want to mount the table. Give you an idea how it's supposed to work. So you put your camera, in my case just a cell phone on there, push down and just lift up. So you can get those nice aerial shots like that. So you're real handy when you start doing a movie and other familiar projects I have. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh. Robert. This is in the test footage. All the way down, all the way up. Hey, 
And when it's on the tripod, it will actually rotate. <laughs> and it will spin so you can get different shots. So that's some test footage. I'll try more out later when I get a new tripod.